at least 35 monikers, different monikers. So why so much monikers? Why not <laughs> using only one or five? Well, in the five end, or six? In the, end, in the end, it's only one person behind it. It's the person who sits here, it's me. And in the end, I'm getting more and more myself after I had to go this way, you know? Yeah, in the late 80s and the 90s, early 90s, when all these started, it was it was very cool to invent new projects, new names all the time. So it was big fun. You want to stay anonym in a way, you know, and and you also want to have the chance to be fast, and you also want to have the chance to make mistakes without losing your whole reputation for the rest of your life. Only while you have make one weird records where you might have one beer too much, you know. This, it, it's, it's a kind of freedom. And, but, and this was a good system, not only for me, for a lot of people in the techno world, for a very long time. But after, at a certain point, this, this system was done and, and it was more ready to, to bring more the person behind it in front. And within the last years, more and more it's, it's getting lower there's a few project names which everybody knows and on the, all these names stands the name Wolfgang Vogt yeah. and that's why now after 10 years without using your name your name now from uh, from three years you begin to to make some records under your own name I used to do this also much earlier or maybe if, if let's say if let's say if I have a, 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 yeah something like this more than 10 years There have also been records un under the name of Wolfgang Vogt, but this was not so important. When I started, the, the name Wolfgang Vogt was totally secret. It, it never uh, appears on any record. But till, let's say, till I have this musical project, let's say Gas, for example, which is a popular project, which was invented in the mid 90s. Or, they always have been the name Wolfgang Vogt on it. It just was a project name, but it's music by Wolfgang Vogt. Uh, earlier, before it was different. There have been numerous guys like Vinyl Countdown or Mike Inc. or Love Inc. and nobody knows Wolfgang Vogt. But this was uh, what I wanted at this time. Because I always knew this is, we're living in fast time and this is fast music. You know, and this is not the rest of my life. Remember David Bowie, he has been Aladdin Sand for a while, he has been Ziggy Stars for a while, but he always has been David Bowie. Maybe it's something like this. Just a bit more names. And uh, we, we spoke about a lot of monikers, but uh, furthermore, you're playing in a lot of projects with other people, and uh, you like to, to collaborate with people. It's not so many collaborations, it's this old... Give me some examples, which one? Uh, when I saw on Discogs, I saw 35 at least. Oh, you mean in the past? In the uh, past, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, in this kind of music, you got a lot of friends, and you got a lot of fast friends. And it, 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 it had been easy and really weird and funky times. You know, you hang around with your people, you have some beer and then there's some instruments and you start playing and you think it's nice, the world have, have, has to know about it and then you make a record, you know. You, you, people should not take any project too serious. A lot of them are also fun and quick and, and it, they're meant to be like this, it should be like this, you know. But I still got my old project with my old friend Jörg Burger, where we play tonight, which is, we also had our, our, our gaps between what we not played for five years together, but now we do, it's big fun. Uh, Bruno told me that uh, you were making some painting now. I've been doing this for the whole of my life. Since I produce music, I've also been, I'm not a, a classical painter, I'm more, I would say like, I'm, I'm doing something like, like a mechanical painting, you know? There's some, some, a lot of, also saw a lot of um, theories which my music are based on. Loops, variant loops, mm. and a certain kind of sampling technologies. The way I used, I used to do my music has always, have always been a, a visual side. People did not know this, maybe of some records and sleeve designs, but not directly from pictures. And like 10 years, 8 years ago, I felt more and more that I have enough said with projects like Profan, Studio Eins, Freiland with Minimum Music, and the visual side comes back into me more and more. And I got back to, to my studio and I used to work more 
yeah, more, more with pictures, with images, with art in the end, with painting if you want. And uh, now you're using uh, new technology to make some uh, kind I, of painting. I'm using very modern technology, of course. I also do art with computers, but I also do very, very old-fashioned, very, very minimal and simply just um, touchy old system like using a little bit of color and using some special instruments which I won't tell what they are just to produce pictures in the most simple way that's possible and uh, I don't know is it possible you to make sometimes some visual almost like a VJ some creation like this because not so far. Yeah, it's everybody. It's not so far in a way, but for me it's far because I'm absolutely no video artist. I have, I have to say I have no certain ideas for video. There has been one big idea for a video which I was thinking about like let's say 10 years and this is, is together with my music project GAS. There has always been from the very beginning a visual side. People who might know the original sleeves, they might remember there have been certain pictures and a certain view on the forest, which I made on myself in the middle of the 90s. And I was always thinking about how, when I would ever be able to bring the GAS project on stage, how could I do the visual side, which is very important for a show like this. And then, but it took me a long time to find the right person who understands what I wanted to and helps me to bring it on the way. So there is one massive video, which is the, the gas movie. It's more a movie, it's an art movie, very minimal, which shows my special ideas of, of structures with this, uh, uh, based on these forest pictures. It's a very certain view. But I'm no visual artist in, in this typically tech, techno context, like, like having weird colors or psychedelic or whatever, these kind of things. It's not my thing, definitely not. I like, I like sleeves and I like pictures which don't move. Ah, okay. no, I don't like this, I'm not interested in this third dimensional movie. I'm, I'm only interested in two dimensions in pictures and sometimes also music, bass drum and one single. And uh, one of the young French uh, artists uh, signed on Compact, Maxime Dangle. Yes. Uh, yeah, when I met him a uh, few, few times ago, he told me that you sometimes went to some conference to speak about uh, the music. Uh, Conf no, I have been invited with, within the years, of course, to some panels or whatever but it's no big deal it's not, it's not my favorite job honestly so sometimes not no, nothing special nothing big okay. maybe sometimes uh, I have talking on some pens sometimes and uh, I remember once in Moscow once here but I wouldn't say this is no big thing okay. it's just business as usual so, okay. but, uh, I'm no professor talking about techno 